The biogas technology uses animal wastes to produce methane or fuel through fermentation. In Barangay Putik, Zamboanga City, Felizardo Galvez raises swine for profit. He raises hybrid hogs and sells piglets. As president of the farmers' organization in their area, he was able to attend a biogas seminar conducted by the Department of Agriculture in 2015. This led his interest in the biogas technology. He joined in the field tours and demonstrations which exposed him to the different kinds of biogas installation technologies. He eventually established his own biogas at home. Tatay naman yung mga field trip. Uh, Yamire ella na kumana dabaw ya andayo. Yamire di la mga kanansina. Por eso pati por medyo tamen del city bed agriculture ya tanda sila kumigo na kita yung barkada yung pwede sinasina sa. Felizardo started with less than 10 heads of pigs and gathered their waste as material for biogas. Today, he has over 50 heads as source of organic matter. He confidently shares that since he installed the biogas digester, his neighbors have not complained of any foul smell coming from his piggery. For casa del biogas, no hay olor. Por eso el vecino seguro no hay reclamo. He has established two biogas units and uses a generator to power the distribution line of fuel to five households. His home, two of his adult children, and also two other neighbors primarily benefit from the biogas. Makina ke el generator para na baljada. Ese ya, tapos yo dale ng mga vecinos. May parte, pamilya din niyo. Mali cinco casa. Kamo sa el beneficio, tapos yo saka na biogas. He said that he doesn't really charge payment for the fuel since they are family. But as for his neighbors, he accepts small donations just for maintenance. Uh, hindi mga ito si Juan Cabe sila at ang kulpunsaryo. Kaya ni Mesta, dali sila uh, 100 ang sila. Pero hindi pala todo el Mesta, dali sila. Kaya hindi man otro ente, mga pamilya lang. Voluntary lang ta dali sila. 100 kada kasa. Ese, ese lang dos kasa. Kaya este mga anak din niyo, hindi ah. Felizardo has been a user of biogas for more than three years now. He uses it mainly for cooking food, which saves him money from LPG expenses. Na antes el un tanque de kel 11 kilos of kel 700 pa. Ni ang katalig on mes. Na pero ara ni na yo ta compra kay Chenia. Tres años pa antes. Ta usa ese. Na no hay problema. Ini ata compra gasol. Pati el bonito ko na li kay maskin ulan, al gasol chen lang. The tubular polyethylene digester he installed was provided by the livestock program of the Department of Agriculture. The design was patterned from the model developed by the Bureau of Animal Industry, which is also widely used in most of biogas technology today. Felizardo, as president of his organization, also encourages other farmers to establish their own biogas, even just for home use. As you have the advantages, I'm going to say that there is a lot of water, but it can be used by the vecinos. The disadvantages are not the same, but it's not the same. It's good for their work. It's clean and firm. Uh, at gas, pinamente si Jenny. Pero si Sadia sila mabuling. Na uh, kay el gas hindi kal entra el susyo kan may manggas. Na uh, siguro patil uno kanyo kun nila kung ako ikaw di may mga farmer. Sabi ni Ki, uh, ka encourage kanila 
Ase, kita pwede masih mangi kwanto bilog lang kuwer ko, makin singko bilog kuwer ko, tiyanile, pwede kuida, ka pwede ha. Bingan di kasi ayuda. Felisardo is also a vegetable farmer. He maintains his vegetable farm as his major source of income, at the same time attending to his piggery. He also uses the extract from animal manure fermentation as soil fertilizer. The biogas technology is definitely a success for Felizardo. He says that he intends to use it for a long time, in the kitchen and in the comforts of his home. Biogas every day truly has brought Felizardo a long way. Yo si Felizardo Galvez, al president, farmer president de Kaputatan Boutique.